Well, you people got your way. I've been quiet. I've been quiet a couple years now. But I'm back. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. And I'm coming like a freight train. And so is everybody like me. We're coming like freight trains. Because you fucking ding-dongs have had your way long enough. You got your ding-dong in the White House. And look what you got. He's a fool. He poops his pants. Normally, I'd be helping him across the street and be kind. But fuck him and you too. Who voted for him? Did you vote for him? You almost got us a war in Ukraine. Thank God it was stopped by Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson. Honestly, if it was up to the news media, we'd have been in a gunfight with Russia. Nuclear power. Lots of people over there. Now you're going to get us into a fight with Iran if we let you. You people don't get it. You men and women who vote Democrat have lost your minds. I want you to think about it. If you have a son or daughter between the ages, of, let's just say son for now, between the ages of 12 and 18, every time you vote for weakness because you're, you don't like a president that says something inappropriate when he's off camera, I mean, you like John Kennedy, he and his brother were doing a two-on-one with Marilyn Monroe, for Christ's sake. No problem. No problem with Bill Clinton. Sticking his cigars who knows where while he's negotiating international deals from the Oval Office while he's getting fellatio from an underage intern. Or barely of age. How about just an intern? Somebody giving of their time and trust. No problem. I can't tell you how many idiots I hear. You hear them talk and you go, oh, you're corporate talking. You're CNN, MSNBC, CBS, PBS. It's corporate talk. Let me get it through your heads. The government gives out licenses for broadcasting. The government taketh them away. Also, the FCC regulates communication over the airwaves. They don't administer licensure. They regulate. FCC's got a big budget. They tell you what you can and can't say. If you get off script, they will jam up your right to have your business over the air. Now, over the wires, over the satellite. Does anyone see a conflict there? We put the government in charge of things that should be free. We put the government in charge of things that don't belong to them. We put the government in charge of things that become a money grab. And as soon as the government's in charge, they are corrupt instantly. You'd think MSNBC, NBC, ABC, CBS, and PBS, you think they'd be neutral parties. They're not neutral. They're lying. They're not neutral. Who is their master? All you have to do is see who does the paying. Follow the money. What's every other advertisement you see? It's for some drug. What's the advertisement you see for these big companies that don't actually sell anything. Why does Boeing and GE and all these companies, why are they advertising? Why are the drug companies advertising? Why is a drug company advertising? Because it's pushing drugs. If you need a drug, they don't need to advertise. If I have my heart replaced, I need to take anti-rejection drugs. They don't need to put a TV ad up for that. What's the TV ad for? So you can get a boner with a blue pill. The most profitable drug ever made. Until COVID came along. I don't know.
You got your old fuddy duddy. He's awful. And you know what polls say? You agree with me. He was awful. And you agree with me. A pox on your house. A pox on your house. You think there's statesmanship in the White House right now? You tell me when there has been in the last 50 years. Tell me when there hasn't been a corrupt president in 50 years. And that's not my argument for Donald Trump. Oh, you say Donald Trump's corrupt. I say, well, everyone else is too. Everyone else is. That's the truth. They are. How does a public servant go into the White House with no money that makes 400000 a year and come out a multi, multi, multi millionaire? How does that happen? Corruption. It's the definition of it. How does a guy who's a multi-billionaire go into office, cut his worth by a third, and people say everything he did was for his money? How does that happen? How, how stupid are you to make that argument? I just want to know. How stupid do you have to be to see that Donald Trump actually probably cut his net worth in half by a third being in the presidency and wants to finish his job? How stupid are you to think that? How ignorant are you to think that? Any of you in there take the uh, tax credit for having children? Do any of you take your tax credit for spouses? Do any of you get paperwork for any charitable contributions you make throughout the year? Medical expenses, home improvements, thing that you can deduct from your income so that you decrease your tax liability? Do any of you do that? Well, just because you don't have a multinational company that has tons of rules and tons of exceptions to make taxes that you can use to your benefit, why would you ever persecute someone who's following the rules and does that stuff? You tell me. And if you're just mad at rich people, that's fine. But you don't not vote for somebody because they happen to have used the system well. It's just dumb. How dumb are you? How dumb are you to think that projecting weakness so we can be everyone's friend in the world is good for the world? Tell me how that's good. It's actually not good for us to be friends for the world. It's, it's, it's good for the world to be a little worried about us. That's actually good. Because you know what it does? It keeps bad players in check. Now, you may not remember this because you might have grown up in a softer, gentler, wokier time than me. But when I grew up, there was somebody in the schoolyard who was tough. There were a couple guys who were tough. And, and, and somebody tough could set the tempo for the schoolyard. Now, this is some real Lord of the Flies fucking sociology here for you, but it's true, thanks to Robert Conrad. I think it was Con Robert Conrad. Ah, Conrad. I don't know if it was Robert Conrad. If the bully knows there's someone in the schoolyard who can handle them, they're less bullyish. It's just the truth. If the teacher is out there paying attention with the whistle, how much do you get bullied? It's when the teacher turns their back and walks away to go to the water fountain to bully to some horse shit. You guys not remember this? It works that way in the world. It works that way internationally. When the grown-ups in the room are handcuffed and sent to the back and moron jadrules on the pay, on the payroll of our enemies and adversaries, China, Russia, and Ukraine. I mean, does, does anybody think it's a mystery? Is there some big mystery to the fact that during the Obama administration, Joe Biden was heavily involved in Ukraine and the minute he's president, there's a war? Do you think that's all just happenstance? Just a weird alignment of the mappy planet goo-goo world of chance. That shit's intentional. Guys out of your minds. I'm anti-Democrat. I'd line them up and plug every one of them, and I'd do the same with the Republicans, quite frankly. And I mean that from the bottom of my emotional heart, not physically threatening anybody. I would kick them all out of office. Both sides. They're institutionalists. 
They're there for the big machine to grind us up. It's all they care about. I go for anybody who's against them. Anybody. And if it happens to be a hard-nosed New Yorker who loves the country with all his heart, maybe uses a tanning booth and you don't like his hair, so be it. If it happens to be a guy who says some crude things behind closed doors amongst friends, so be it. Name a man who hasn't. Name a man who hasn't. You find me a man that doesn't speak differently when they're off camera than when they do on camera, and I'll tell you, you found a rare and special cat. We all have our persona. And when I talk to the woman in my life, do you think I talk like this? Of course not. I put on my gentleman hat. It's completely different. Here, I'm my pissed off patriot hat. If I'm riding in a bu bus with Billy Bush and he and I are boy talking, and he's asking me what it's like to be famous, amazing, famous show, I might say it's crazy. I thought being a billionaire was crazy. But Jesus, if you're a billionaire and a movie star, you're on TV with a hit show, you can grab a girl by the pussy. They won't even do anything. They're, they're happy. Because that's what God said. You know, I've conducted myself pretty well in my professional adult life, and I've had people come at me. And they've used lawyers, and they've used the law, the justice system, the legal system to come at me. And I've come out okay, and I've prevailed. But it's very expensive being in a spot where people can take shots at you. And it's surprising what will motivate people. I've had them send CPS to my home to inspect my children's safety and possibly review taking my kids away from me. When Amy and I were together, we had that happen. You know, somebody might watch this because they don't agree with my politics and go, oh, that seems like that could be a violent man. Well, I could be. I'm, a, I'm an exceedingly capably violent man who's not violent out of choice and discipline. Choice, discipline, and compassion, which is the definition of virtue. It is not virtuous. To have a top knot, wear skinny jeans, fake lumberjack boots, and not know how to change a tire or protect your family or stand up for what's right. That's actually not virtuous. That's just being a cunt. So, a little rant from Greg Medford at Medford Knives. I hang my politics out there. I wish more executives had the goddamn courage to step up. My friends say, oh... I vote conservative, Greg, but I don't want them to know who's coming. I want them to know we're here. They should all know we're here. They should all be slightly scared. There's a whole lot of people like me seething right below the surface who vent to me. A minute the camera turns on, they're very docile. Oh, I don't want to hurt my business. Oh, I don't want to hurt my... Oh, this. Oh, that. <coughs> Have courage for your convictions. All of you who feel like me, get online, let it rip. I could quote the great Arlo Guthrie from Alice's Restaurant. Imagine if we all did it, it'd be a revolution. <laughs>